Hi, I'm Jeff Huber from Breakthrough Basketball, and in this video, you're going to see a preview of Georgia State Championship coach Bob Martin's screening game offense. Additionally, Coach Martin shows three small-sided games he uses to work on passing and screening. These drills are better than traditional passing and screening drills because they involve live defense. As a result, players learn what type of passes work within the offense, as well as how to read screens based on the defensive coverage. These drills have resulted in his team consistently generating open shots. In fact, Coach Martin's teams have ranked among the top three teams in Georgia in three-point percentage, while also averaging over 15 assists and only 11 turnovers per game. Now let's get started. So some key concepts that we focus on in our screening game offense, our motion offense, if you will, is that we wanna keep our screeners opposite of each other and generally speaking, high-low. It doesn't happen all the time, but they must be, we must be good enough to recognize spacing on the floor. We rarely want two people inside the three. We definitely don't want three people inside the three because it creates bad opportunities for us in terms of dribble drive and spacing and slipping and popping to areas that would be open. So here's how we would balance our floor. Let's say one has the ball here, five would step out in, in uh, back screen and four would down screen. Now we teach our players that after a screen, you must want the basketball. We also teach our players we don't want them to screen two times in a row unless specified. Because what I've found, if you screen two times in a row, they just end up running around in a circle and not going anywhere. So we want our bigs, our screeners, if you will, they don't necessarily have to be bigs, they just have to be pretty good at their job. So we want, after we screen here, we want to pop out to the ball. After we down screen here, we want to pop out to the ball or we want to shape up or we want to go post hard. We get a lot of activity here and see what, you've, what you see in this is that the five is outside the three, the four is outside the three, but they're opposite. One is kind of low and the other one's kind of high. And then if the four dives down, now we have a, a screener that is low and a screener that is high. And this does wonders for our offense because we always have somebody entering and exiting the three point line. So you'll see we have two entering the three-point line and three exiting the three-point line. And this creates a lot of confusion for the defense. We also have four entering the three after a down screen, but yet we have five exiting the three. This doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it does make a huge difference in our offense. It keeps everything on balance and it keeps everything flowing in and out. And it gives our screeners an opportunity to feel like they're a, a valued part of what we do. Because a screener, let's be honest, has kind of a negative connotation. People think, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna screen, I have to get the cutters open. Or that's, that's not the case. Cutters and screeners probably get equally the same amount of shots. The, the downfall here, if there is any downfall, the point guard probably at times screens too much and doesn't cut enough to get another screen to get open. So there's a little bit of a negative there, but if we, we really take the high IQ point guard and teach him that, that cutting is, is more effective than a screen at times, it really opens up our offense even more. So after we get through all of our warm-up drills, our shooting drills, our footwork drills, just understanding what we're supposed to do after we catch the ball, after we screen, we go to a short-sided game. So right now we do a lot of learning out of a two-on-two with a coach here at the top. So we're always gonna go slot to slot. We always want our uh, offense to be high, volleyball line on most high school courts, and we want it to be nice and wide. So we're gonna always play three to four feet outside the three. We don't want our toes on the three. That confines us, it doesn't give us enough space to move. So we wanna create as much space that we possibly can to spread the defense out and make them always recover just about two or three feet excuse me, two or three feet longer than what they normally would. So right now we're gonna immediately go two on two. We're gonna, we're gonna start with a pass right here. We're gonna sprint the down screen. No switching is allowed in this drill right now. We'll do a switch a little bit later, but we're gonna bounce pass back here and it doesn't have to be a bounce pass back to the wing. I'd prefer a quick reversal right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and rip and go and make a play from here. So these guys get two dribbles to score. And if they want, if they can get an, if they take a shot and miss it, they get an offensive putback. We give them an offensive putback opportunity because we don't want guys to be down on themselves after they miss a shot. We want them to be more aggressive and more assertive. We want to teach what to do when you make a mistake. And let's be honest, missing a shot is a mistake. It's not intentional. But what, what do we do after that mistake? We want an offensive rebound. So we're going to try to outwork our, def our defenders by simply giving ourselves another shot here. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Just play, guys. Just play. You're doing great. Let's get it. 
We're gonna hit that guy right now. We're gonna rip and go. One, two, good. There's a nice one right there, nice. So we're gonna go offense to defense. Offense to defense, defense in the line. Here we go. Nice little two dribble J by Parker, but we also had another guy twisting by. Good, keep moving, reset it. We wanna reset it as well. Because we're really trying to work on this. Good, rip and go, rip and go, one, two. Almost had him. Use that retreat dribble, Jamin. Use that retreat dribble. Tigo, if he kicks it out, you can go. One, two, nice pull up. Nice pull up, all right, rotate out. Hey, let's not pick up the ball on the baseline, let's retreat and dribble. And we can twist, we can twist out of it too. So if I, got a, if I have a dribble drive from this guy, then that top slot guy can twist back around and we can pitch back. If you can't get him on the pitch back, let's retreat dribble, and then we can set it up all over again, okay? Just for the sake of just getting this down. All right, go. Sprint, open up, find that screener. Now rip and go. One, two, nice. Good twist, good twist, good twist. Nice shot, DJ, nice shot, good. Rip go, inside jab, try to get through the defense there. Sprint the screen, make contact. Good bounce out, good bounce out, Brody. All right, stop right there. So here's a couple teaching points. So let's do that again, set that up again. So here's a couple teaching points. So we're not switching. You're not switching, that's good. But what we're doing is we have got to do a better job reading the defender. Okay, so I had to set this screen right here. This is, I saw this twice now. So DJ, you trail him now, trail him. This is not a straight cut, it's a trail. So what do we do, Aiden? We curl cut, we curl cut. So if he, if he chases you, then you have to curl. You got me? All right, now, if DJ comes to the inside of the screen, let's set that up again. Set that up again, DJ comes to the inside of the screen here, all right, then what we do is we fade on that, okay? So you have to read that better. That's where we get a lot of action, all right? Okay, let's go. Read it, good curl, good curl. Nice and no dribble and a score, I like that. I like that, good. Read it, that was a flare screen, you missed it. But we'll get it back, good. Good twist, good twist. You can skip out of that. You can go back to the coach if you want. Pop, 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 pop. Now rip, rip, good. Good jump stop, Jed. Good jump stop. Sprint the screen, set him up. Read that straight cut. Defenders got out of position. They had to think about two or three things at once. The, 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 the uh, defender didn't know whether to go to the ball or guard his own man. Good, nice bounce out, nice bounce out. So that now screen, 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 good, good, good. Right here, good. Reverse it, reverse it quick, twist, twist Sawyer. Good, all right, rotate out, good job. Good, pop, reverse. Nice, nice. Good read, Parker, good read. Way to fight through that, way to fight through it. Go low, low man wins, low man wins. Tough shot, gets his own rebound. That's why we go offensive putbacks. That's why we go offensive putbacks right there. We never stop fighting. If we didn't allow offensive putbacks, we would have ended the drill already. Rip go, one, two, good bounce out. Nice job. So we'll talk about a bounce out dribble, a retreat dribble that we do often going baseline. We don't want to pick the ball up on the baseline. We want to keep that ball moving. One, two, good. That's a retreat dribble we're talking about. Good bounce pass. Bounce pass to that. Good. Nice curl and a nice jump stop. Nice jump stop. The key is how quick do you get out of a screen here? How quick do you get out of a screen and how good are you on the catch? Watch these guys screen. The court's a pretty good player. He gets out of the screen and he gets the, he got a shot. He had enough time to shot fake and then finish at the rim. Good job, McCord. So right now, gentlemen, let's go. Uh, let's go three on three. Let's go. Um, let's go wing, wing in middle. Wing, wing in middle. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go back to the screener on this one as well. But now what we've done is we've given him more space to work with. This is gonna be a lot easier than the, the two on two short sided game. Are right, you guys ready? 
and we're gonna go back to the screener again. We like going back to the screener. Watch the defense and all these drills here. Watch the defense. What do they do when we go back to the screener? Are we at, are we at an advantage or disadvantage? I wanna make people run at us so we can blow by, okay? So here's a couple key points here. If McCord goes to the wing and he sprints the screen, okay, we're just gonna work on the down screen now. Okay, go, get him, get him to the top. Now we're gonna reverse back here. Now McCord is gonna have this space. The ball was over there, so DJ's gotta, gotta move his body here to play defense. McCord's gonna rip and go, okay? Every time we rip and go, this guy is gonna fall to the drift area. Okay, Jamin did a good job cutting that off, so now McCord's gonna retreat dribble. We don't wanna pick it up down here. So now we go here, and it's gonna be immediate reversal, and we can still, now check this out, that was good right there, immediate reversal, rip and go. Now these guys have to decide, should we play the down screen game here, and we're just down screening now, or should I actually help? One way or the other, it's gonna be a mistake somehow, some way. These guys right here have to think now. They have to think about two things at once. So what we wanna get these guys to do on defense is think, should I help? Should I stay? Should I be with my man, right? We scream because we want the defense to think all the time. Our goal is to have five guys on defense thinking what's coming next and how quickly is it coming, all right? So let's read that and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Got it? Here we go. We're going live, same thing. Offense will go to defense. Rip and go, go screen, go screen, Parker. Parker, go screen. Good, 45, went plus one on the good, nice there, good. Went drift on that, okay. So here's one thing we do, all right. Go ahead, offense to defense. Offense to defense. Offense to defense. Hold that ball for a minute. Here's one thing I'll do. I'm not gonna get upset a whole lot in practice unless it continuously happens over and over and your effort is poor. But what we wanna do, I'll just say turnover. So Parker, one of our players here, he didn't, he, he reversed the ball and never went to do it. He didn't cut, nor did he screen. So I'll just say turnover, get out, you lost the possession. And we're not gonna get cross about it. We're not gonna get upset. That's just an expectation It wasn't met. It was, uh, it was one of those things that we didn't do properly. So you'll get another chance, just like the game of basketball. Possession's over, move on. Let's see how we can adapt and adjust to get better in the next possession. Y'all ready? Okay, talk and move, talk and move. Let's go. Good, retreat, good. Quick reversal, only screening right now, good. Harder pass, we gotta get a better pass than that, good. Good, good. You rip and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can rip and go. Or you can pass away. Pass away and then just cut. Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, stop right there, gentlemen. So this is where this is where we uh, this is what I love about coaching. McCord just asked me, he's like, Coach, do I have to screen away every time? And the answer is no. He goes, Can I just can I just pass and cut? Yes, absolutely. I don't want you to be a robot. If I don't know what you're doing and you're my player, I know our opponent is not gonna know what you're doing. That's the beauty of it all. They're, these guys are being players. We're, these are not plays. These are guys that are, that are basically struggling every day to figure it out. And when they get it, it's the most amazing thing around. It's so much enjoyment in my life just to see kids have, uh, have something that they own and then I just get to sit back and maybe consult from time to time. It's, I love coaching this way. I think the players really enjoy it. They get to shoot the ball. Look how many touches every player is getting right now. They're getting a ton of touches. That's what I want. It doesn't matter. You can have a hockey assist. You can have a basketball assist. You can get the shot. Everybody's going to feel like they're a part of this offense just because they get multiple touches. Let's try that again. So yes, the answer to McCord, yes, you can pass and cut. Make sure you're cutting hard and don't, don't stay inside the three too long. And also, if we're getting too close to the three, I need somebody to step up and say, let's get our spacing back. Now, I think our wings are a little too high. I want my wings down here a little bit more. I want our wings down there a little bit more. And then we'll play in our gap defense here, okay? All right, go. 
Good. Good. Good, nice rebound, Brody. Good, good glass, good glass, good glass, Parker. This is where we do, this is where I get to just sit and watch. There's a good switch right there. A little bobble. We call that surfing the baseline. We don't want to pick the ball up behind the backboard. Nice back cut. We're gonna be we gotta get better at passing. Okay? Gotta get better at passing. Aiden, Aiden, stay calm with that. We don't want to throw it, we don't throw it right at the ear and slip that through there at the ankle. Good. All right, stop right there. Now, check this out. Let's run that again. Let's run that again. So watch this. If we do a lot of stopping. We don't do a lot of stopping, but we stop it enough just to kind of uh, figure things out. All right? So why don't you pass there and screen? Just screen right here. Now, what would happen if, if there's... There, stop right there. Just stop right there. What would happen if... What would happen if there's an angle right here that you could go to? This is, where I, this is what I like coaching about. This is what I like about coaching. I don't tell them what to do, I just give them advice and try to give them instruction on where to be. Would that be a good play? Would that be a good read? Not a play, would it be a good read? Now watch this, let's say Cam, stay, stay right there. Cam came up top, you guys, you went with somebody, you switched, whatever. Now what do we have here now? Go ahead and pass it back to him. We have an empty backside, right? So now we wanna attack the hip. So we'll break things down one-on-one -on -one a lot. Okay, this offense works because we can read defenders. This offense works because we're strong with the ball and we can finish at the rim with the paint. If, if you're not very skilled, I don't care what offense you're going to run, it, it's just not going to work. Okay, so we could slip that, and if you slip it, you can clear on out, clear on out because we want to get good spacing. Brody, you could slide on up, you could keep your dribble alive, and now we have a drift. Boom, Brody, slide in there. Now we could have a plus one. Now you can set a back screen. Now you can set, now you can pop. Now we can play from here. Now you can go screen that guy. You can set right, right, one right there, good. Now we're just playing a game of basketball. Now these three defenders here have got to think about multiple things. So we're gonna go four on four. We call this FIBA style. It's usually a 12 second shot clock. We don't use a 12 second shot clock. We just try to get back to our spacing quickly. We wanna think the game and we wanna be challenged mentally the entire practice. So what we're gonna do now is if we score, if white scores, Green gets the ball and they're gonna take it immediately outside the three. Only The ball has to go outside the three, that's it. Beyond the three, not every player has to go beyond the three and we play from there. So we want our defense to be on point, we want our offense to be on point. I want us to be uh, put through a lot of challenging opportunities in practice where we have to think the game immediately. And again, we're gonna let them fail. We're gonna let them fail and try to figure it out. Ready boys, let's go. Good, good. Make sure we're throwing bounce passes tightly guarded. Tightly guarded. Turnover, good, rotate. Okay, green ball, green ball, you gotta set it up. FIBA style, let's play. Set it up. Call out your score, call out your score. Where are we at on defense, where's your help at? Good, slide out of there, Jamin, slide out of there, good. Reverse it, good, nice. Good, don't pick it up down here. Spacing, get your spacing, get your spacing right. Good help, good help, good help. Hit it. Nice. Two. All right. Let's do it again. Hey, Dodge, you get down here, elbows out. Parker, you get down here, elbows out. Know what you're doing when you catch the ball. Okay, we're not, it's not an experiment. Where's your spacing? All right, winner stay. Let's go.
Good bounce out, good bounce out. Cut, McCord, you can cut. Good flare. Good, good. Keep that ball bouncing. Keep that ball bouncing. Got to bounce it out. Good cut. You got to cut harder, Aiden. Got to cut harder. Want the ball. Want the ball, Cam. Good. Plus one. Knockdown. Good. Good. Good touch. Good touch. Good touch. Nice cut. Nice cut. Hit it. White ball, white ball. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. So here, here's a teaching point. Okay, here's a teaching point. Okay, we're not going to give a ball to a guy and catch it in traffic. There's no advantage. That's, I think that's one of the worst things you can do with, for your teammate is he just caught into two big guys and we want him now to be successful with that. That's a bad pass. That's not the guy, and the, the sad part is this, you know, the, the guy that just turned it over will get the turnover. The pass has got to be better and we've got to know why we pass the ball to that, to that teammate. So we cannot, gentlemen, just throw balls to people that don't have any chance of even scoring or putting us in an advantage. So it's okay to maybe wait on that and move on to the next play. We hope you enjoyed this Small Sided Games for Conceptual Offense video. If you want instant access to seven drills for championship practices, make sure to click the link in the description so you gain access to a free PDF featuring diagrams, descriptions, and bonus tips. Again, if you incorporate these drills into your basketball practices, you will see individual and team improvement in all areas of the game. Make sure to click and subscribe and then click the bell button so you're the first to know when we release more new videos. Thanks for watching.